creating YouTube. You have to forgive the fan in the background. It's really warm where I am at the moment. Um, also, I would like to apologize. I am feeling under the weather. Um, one of my teeth went bad this weekend, um, and at the moment I am in extreme pain. Uh, I missed work tonight, which means I lose my holiday pay, and uh, I'm hoping that my dentist can hit me on Tuesday, otherwise I'm going to have to go to an emergency dentist and have my tooth pulled. I would prefer if my actual dentist looked at it and see what he can do. Um, but it's a tooth that's had a root canal done in the past and a cap put on it, so a crown, so I don't think there's anything they can do. Um, yay for pain. Um, today I'm going to review Chocolate, a martial arts film out of Thailand. Now, it's the story of a love-torn couple. Um, there's a threesome going on here, a love triangle, um, and unfortunately all the people involved in the love triangle are also involved in organized crime. So instead of there being some arguments and maybe a fist fight, there are like guns and shooting and death involved. So the couple decides to break up so they, neither of them gets killed. The uh, male goes from Thailand back to Japan, he's Japanese, the woman stays in Thailand and is pregnant. Um, she delivers a child. Um, the girl is eventually discovered to have a learning disability. Um, and as she develops, um, her younger brother discovers that she is, uh, or at least a kid, I, I couldn't quite tell if it was a younger brother or just someone they adopted somehow, um, but he refers to the woman as aunt, so maybe it isn't his mother, I'm not sure. But he discovers that his, that the main character uh, Zen, um, the char main character in Chocolate, has an affinity for martial arts. She's essentially a savant. She watches people do things, and then she is en then able to emulate them move for move. Um, a dedic um, memory in a physical sense. So it's subtly, essentially a dedic reflexes. There was a DC, or you know, I think a DC character that had that ability at one point. Maybe in Marvel, I'm not sure. I think he was called Taskmaster. But um, as a martial arts film out of Thailand, this is an excellent time. Um, there's lots of good martial arts moves. Uh, there's lots of environmental stuff, you know, like using the items in the room, sliding under things, going over things, you know, like falling off of cabinets and kind of running down the side as the cabinets fall. It's all very well done, very well choreographed. Um, you know that there's no wire foo going on. These people are, for the most part, doing all of this um, for real. So that was very impressive. Um, and at that level, you can watch this movie and have a heck of a good time. Um, and now for not, the not-so-good stuff. This is quite possibly the most politically incorrect film I have ever seen. The main character's mother smokes through her entire pregnancy, which might explain why she has learning disabilities because, you know, her genetics have been damaged by her mother's addiction, not to mention being raised around someone that smokes. Um, and essentially, her male companion, her brother or whatever he is, uses her as the retard on display. People throw things at her, she catches them because her reflexes are incredibly good, and he collects money from the, from the, the public. So it's retard on show. It's just incredibly, utterly politically incorrect in a very bad way. There's political correctness going too far, and then there's just being a tacky asshat. And this film takes the tacky asshat route. Um, also, every single person that they encounter in this film that works at a warehouse or some kind of uh, factory or something, every single one of them knows martial arts, and is willing to assault a 14-year-old retarded girl. They have no qualms about this. They will attack. Grown men will attack this little tiny waif of a girl because some goomba tells them to. There's something desperately wrong if that is actually how Thailand works. I don't believe it does. Um, and at the, in the third act, they find someone to go up against her that's supposed to be her equal. And guess what he is? He's another developmentally challenged person. So it's retard on retard action. And how does she beat him? By watching his moves, emulating his behavioral problems, and then beats the crap out of him. 
Then you've got people doing all kinds of climbing and jumping who have been shot. And in real life, folks, if you get shot, you don't do a lot of climbing and, and jumping. You tend to be fall down and bleed, but that's just the real world. This is a martial arts action film. The real world need not apply. So, if you want an action movie done in the Thai tradition, this is a lot of fun. No argument. But if you want a film that treats the people in the film with any kind of respect or any kind of decency, this is not that film. <laughs>